today we're going to talk all about the Super Glide glider hitch by Pullright. And um, the model that we have is the 2900. There's three different models. Ours will pull up to 18,000 pounds, which is cool because our dry weight of our camper is about 12,000 pounds. And then even if we maxed it out, our max weight on our, on our rig is just over 16,000 pounds. So this 18,000 pound will pull just fine. But if you uh, have a heavier rig, you're going to want to go with the 2300 model because it can pull up to 24,000 pounds. Um, the good thing about the slider hitch, uh, and the reason that we have the slider hitch, is because we have a truck that is a short bed and is a mega cab. So we lose a lot of bed space. And because of that, if you take a really tight turn, if you just have a traditional uh, hitch, the cap of your RV could strike the cab of your truck on a tight turn and, and dent it up, bust windows out. We've seen all kinds of crazy stuff. So what this hitch does is on tight turns, uh, this thing will, will turn with the RV. It will slide back. So it pulls the whole cap of your RV away from the cab of the truck and it prevents a strike between the cap and the cab. And then when you straighten back up, this thing automatically straightens back up and you go straight on down your way. Now today we're going to show you how to hook this guy up, we're going to show you how to unhook it, and then we're going to show you a little bit of footage of us driving with it on because we're in a camp campground right now where we have to move spots unfortunately, but we took advantage of that today to be able to show you the pull right uh, super glide. Another thing that's unique to the super glide is you have to have a catch plate on your kingpin and the catch plate is the thing that hooks into the hitch and actually allows it to, to glide back and forth. If you don't have that, you're only going to have one pivot point just like you would have with a traditional hitch. Uh, so this is very unique. You cannot tow without the catch plate. Uh, we're not going to go into like installation and how it all how it all works, but just get with your dealer when you order yours and when you set yours up, the instructions should be in there on how to install your catch plate. Another thing you're going to want to do when you're hooking up is you're going to want to make sure that this thing is, is straight. So you're going to want to make sure it's lined up properly, uh, straight on, and then you're going to make sure that the hitch is actually pushed as far down as possible because the, uh, the catch plate is going to slide up that like a ramp and they're going to hook into the thing. Now I'm going to get the truck uh, backed in as uh, straight as I can and then Leslie will guide me onto the hitch. Now, once you're hooked up, if you're in a if you're in a straight, if you're hooked up straight and you want to unhook straight, all you got to do is just lift the uh, lift the whole RV up until you get a little gap right here. Once you get a little gap, then you'll just pull your release handle. It'll release your trailer and you drive forward. If you're having trouble pulling this guy and it won't come loose, all you got to do is put your truck in reverse, back it up just a couple of inches to release that tension because it's it's pulling against each other, and then it, this should free right up. And uh, the only time you're going to run into a problem is if you're trying to unhook on an angle and we're going to show you how to do that. So you have to be perfectly lined up to hook up to these things. Now we're going to detach and we were kind of hoping we would get caught at an, an angle so we can unhook it at an angle. Um, but we got it straight because we've had a lot of, of practice at getting the hitch back straight to unhook. But um, So it's straight now but we're going to pretend like we're at an angle and we're going to unhook this hitch as if you were, I mean you could even unhook it at like a 90 degree angle if you had to. If you had to hard ride into a spot and you got your RV where you want it but your truck is to an angle and you're on a slider hitch. This is how you would unhook it. On both sides of this hitch, there are some pins that look like this. One on that side and one on that side. What you're gonna do is you're gonna release these pins right here and then you're gonna pull this pin out on both sides. Make sure you keep these in a safe place. You don't wanna lose these. You're gonna need these again. <laughs> Now I'm going to lift the whole RV the same way I normally would, but normally if I'm hooked up straight, I'm only going to lift until that catch plate is this much above the, uh, the, the hitch, 
and then I'll release the arm and just drive forward. But since I'm at an angle, or we're pretending that I'm at an angle, we took those pins out, so I'm gonna lift the whole thing up all the way out of the hitch. Even though we're on here straight, I went ahead and lifted it up. You want to make sure you lift this above your side rails of your truck because you're at an angle. So you're going to be coming off at an angle and if this isn't high enough, you're going to hit the sides of your truck. Once you're off your hitch, you're just going to level your, your RV as you normally would at first and then we'll worry about this hitch. All right, now that we've driven our truck off, we're going to take this part and we're going to put it back on the hitch. So since there's no tension anymore, it's real easy. You just pull this guy. <laughs> I said it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> you release that. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pull it straight off the front. Just as if you were regularly unhooking. It comes right off of there. Now we're going to go put this guy back on. Now, when you're doing this, make sure your fingers and hands stay clear of this mechanism in here because it is an automatic mechanism and just like if your kingpin goes inside there if your hand goes inside there that joker's going to wrap around it because it thinks it's, it's locking onto a kingpin and that's that's not gonna be fun for anybody all right so you'll take this guy and you'll put it right back in its in its spots right there kick that back down and then you'll just slide these guys right back in where they were Now that wasn't too hard. Um, we had to simulate that because we were in straight. The other, so, so the thing I got to talk to you about is if you are in at an angle, you have to keep in mind that you're going to have to hook this thing back up. So even though you've unhooked at an angle, uh, if you don't have enough room in front of your RV for your truck to get back straight, you're not going to get hooked back up. So even though if you unhook at an angle by the method that I just uh, showed you, make sure you have enough room or else you're really going to be in a, in a pinch when it comes time to leave. Well, that's it for the Super Glide Hitch by Pull Right. Um, we love our hitch. Uh, the only downfall is uh, backing up. Backing up is an issue because as soon as you start to back up, this thing pivots and it pulls back and it creates a different angle uh, when you're trying to back up. So that's a little bit on the shaky side. But other than that, we love our hitch. Uh, we've never had a problem out of it and it pulls, pulls wonderfully. Uh, so that's it for the Pull Right. If uh, you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer those for you. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching. See you next time.